What's up guys, Steve here with Scotch and Things. We're down in uh, Lake Texoma on the Oklahoma, Texas border. Do some striper fishing. Come down every year for a little kind of company thing to blow off some steam after the end of our season of building bins. So first time I've ever recorded anything down here. So I'll just see what I can get. Um, nice day today. We usually go out early in the morning. Our guide uh, was busy this morning, so we're going out this afternoon. So, uh, beautiful day, about 50 degrees. Beautiful Lake Texoma. Hopefully, I don't drop my camera in the water, show you some stripers. Yeah, like I said, a couple years ago, we were out later in the day when the sun came out and we had to, you know, strip off some layers, but it's never been. That time with Brian, that later in the afternoon was pretty nice. That one day, but. Hey guys, Steve here with Scotch and Things. This video is going to be kind of chopped up and put together. So this is day two of our fishing trip. If you ever come down to Lake Texoma, we always stay on in the Buncombe Creek Marina area. And it's kind of nice. <clears throat> There's the, we've got a little cafe and bait shop. Uh, you can see the water straight through there. Um, There's area for motor homes. There's other places to rent hotels around the area, but it's kind of nice. They've got one, two, three, four, five, six, these seven trailers that you can rent. And that's what we always do. There's my truck down there. You can see um, the trailer. We're sleeping five in there right now. They're, they're pretty clean. They're actually, they're for a, for a trailer, they're really clean. Um, and, you know, just for eating and sleeping and drinking in, it's really nice. So. Hopefully today, we're going out earlier, should have some better luck, but uh, hoping today, <clears throat> sorry, the water over here. I mean, we caught, God, we went out at 1.30 yesterday and fished till five and caught 30, which is kind of slow for us here. We always limit out here. So hopefully today, like I said, it'll be a little bit better day fishing. Um, Hopefully I'll get some more shots of the water. We were just trying to catch fish yesterday, but if they really start coming on today, I'll take some more time out to, to film and stuff like that. Something a little different on the channel. So, like I said, this is gonna be a, a video comprised of three days worth of footage. So, all right, talk to you guys later. Mr. Nut, you catching some fish? Yeah. <laughs> Steve, you caught a couple today? Come on, fish, bite. You can do it, bite. Got the limit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we got that run there for a while where it was 
fish today. <laughs> That's time for beer. Oh my god, look at the screen. That's a cooler full of fish. <laughs> they got both of them rods. I know. Look at them. <laughs> finally, finally, my day, and they're cheating. Look at the, I, they just keep getting closer and closer to my pole. Yeah, well, hell, well, that's where all the fish are. <sighs> that's where they're at, right? I bought another trolling motor. That trolling motor there is just about three, two weeks, or three weeks old, maybe, and it's got stuff in it. That, don't hardly use any battery. Uh, you use it, the new one, you just use that thing all day long. It's got a button up there you can push and then light the light up. The battery still be full. What was it? That trolling motor battery is hard running down all day long. That trolling motor, what's that trolling motor? It's $234. And you can go buy one at Walmart for $99. Got to look screen, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I told you he was a big one. Big Jesus boy. Christ. I knew he was a picture. <laughs> and you had your pull out of the water. I know. It's all, it was, thanks, Randy. Well, I hey, put your that. pull out there. <laughs> Looked around there and seen that, right? Look, I got. You can't break your pull if you don't keep it off the water. Draw a tip up. You'll break your pull yeah, if you, you let it do bird. that. Just bite him when you can, reel when you can. Oh, no. Did you lose him, Mr. Nutt? Yeah, he's full loose. Yeah, he must be pretty good size. Yeah, Mr. Nutt had a big one, too, and he pulled yeah, off. Pull over here. He's touching the middle. Of it'll see him. All you can do is round you. Yep. Yeah. Not now. Big fish. You want me to show you how to reel that in? You got it. That's just a bit pretty stout. Probably the same one. He's got me again. Got both of you. God. Congratulations, you caught him. Damn it. We're gonna get to quit on this one, boys. Take us 30 minutes to get that shit untangled. Real, real, you got it. You caught a nice sized fish and Earl and myself. Good job. <laughs> Shut down that side of the boat. Oh, yep. Well, he fucking was spinning all over. He did okay. And a half well was on the line. Great day. Well, they catch a lot of Earl and Big one. Beautiful day. I mean, for how calm it is, we had a really good day. Three nice ones. Nothing real easy. That was probably 25. Oh, I don't know about that. Hey, Mr. Nut. Look, he's got his back to us, won't talk to me. We we rubbed the luck out of him. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I, I, I know what it's, I finally know what it's like to be you fishing. I mean, and you know what? It feels good. 
it, it is really nice. Every time you drop a pole in the water, yeah, yeah. you have to reel it back up. Who's gonna help cut the red meat out? I don't know. I don't want to. Oh, I, I might cut my finger off. off. Yeah. I don't know about that. That wasn't that wasn't the deal. I peel potatoes. Yeah, no. Hope I don't drop my camera in the water. Great, great day striper fishing. Fall, but ah, oh, nice out.